North Korea tensions and the possibility of an all-out war are continuing to rise in the recent exchange of insults and threats between President Donald Trump and Kim Jong-un suggests the time for dialogue may now be over UK only has hours to prepare for WW3, North Korea vs US is real. World War 3, Russia war North Korea is to test long-range missile capable of reaching USA World War 3, Russia war North Korea is to test long-range. Watch, shocking moment man opens his car door only to find this inside watch, shocking moment man opens his car door only to find this. World War 3, North Korea's space weapon even more deadly than a nuclear missile World War 3, North Korea's space weapon even more deadly than a Coronation Street spoilers, tragic death scare leaves Weatherfield devastated please no. Coronation Street spoilers, tragic death scare leaves. USA vs North Korea, this is the US military arsenal poised to wipe out Kim's threat North Korea tensions and the possibility of an all-out war are continuing to rise in the recent exchange of insults and threats between President Donald Trump and Kim Jong-un suggests the time for dialogue may now be over. After the US president vowed to totally destroy North Korea if it poses a threat to the US or its allies. The North Korean leader branded Trump mentally deranged while his foreign minister remarked that Pyongyang could consider a hydrogen bomb test of an unprecedented scale on the Pacific Ocean. The news comes after North Korea's UN envoy said the country would never bow down to international pressure and give up its nuclear weapons program. Diplomatic means of addressing the hostilities appear to have been sidelined in favor of military action Donald Trump's UN Ambassador Nikki Haley and the President himself have said the time for talk is over, despite China, Russia, and other members of the US administration claiming dialogue remains the main aim. The US military has a huge presence in the area around North Korea, particularly in Japan and increasingly close allies South Korea. There are almost 40,000 U.S. troops serving in Japan, more than in any other country, and earlier this year the U.S. Air Force lined up a huge array of helicopters, tactical fighter jets and surveillance aircraft in a show of force aimed to intimidate Kim Jong-un. Among the aircraft were HH-60 Pave Hawks, a twin turbochaft helicopter primarily used for the insertion and rescue of special operation personnel. The aircraft's versatility makes it incredibly useful in other operations too, including civilian rescue and disaster relief. The F-15 Eagles, America's twin-engine, all-weather tactile fighter jets, are also stationed in the region and are among the most successful modern fighters, with over 100 victories and no losses in aerial combat. Also headquartered in Japan is the 7th Fleet the largest of the U.S. Navy's deployed sea forces. The flagship carrier is the USS Ronald Reagan, a nuclear-powered aircraft supercarrier that forms part of the most effective and agile fighting force in the world. Also in the fleet are up to 14 destroyers and cruisers at any given time, some armed with ballistic missile interceptors. A collection of long-range Tomahawk land missiles which made headlines earlier this year when President Trump fired 59 of them at an airbase in Syria, joins the arsenal. As if that wasn't enough, there are also 12 nuclear-powered submarines available should war break out. South of the Demilitarized Zone DMZ, the U.S. has 23,468 troops at 83 different sites as well as hundreds of tanks and armored vehicles meaning there is always a heavy military presence should North Korea decide to launch a land attack the B-1B bomber is heralded for its survivability and although initially designed to carry nuclear arms, it was converted to carry more conventional weaponry after the Cold War. The U.S. is believed to have at least six B-1B bombers stationed in Guam and is best suited to a medium threat environment, rather than a heavily speaking about plans for a possible preemptive strike on North Korea earlier this month, retired Admiral James Stavridis told NBC News, the B-1B has also been selected because it has the added benefit of not being able to carry nuclear weapons. Military planners 